It is time for another theme park coasting top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Sesame Place. Starting off at number 10 we have the Monster Mix Up where you can join all of your favourite furry monsters on this family teacup ride. By spinning the wheel located in the middle of the cup it will make you spin and if you are like me you will make it go faster and faster until you have no idea where you are. Don't worry though guys if you do not want such an intense experience just don't spin the wheel but is that really as fun? I don't know. Have you ever wanted to shrink down to the size of a bug and spin through Elmo's garden? Well if so our number 9 spot PK Bug is just for you, however with it being a very common flat ride located all around the world, if you are going to head to Sesame Place on a busy day we recommend trying for more unique rides first. But if you do decide to ride, it won't bug you with all of its fun turns while raising up and down making it great for any family. At number 8 we are going to fly through the air with Elmo's Cloud Chaser. Located alongside PK Bug in Elmo's World, this is a great ride for any of those little thrill seekers out there wanting to spin up into the sky with their favourite Sesame Street characters. Over here on Theme Park Coasting we also think this ride is great at the park as unlike normal swing rides which are usually quite tall. Elmo's Cloud Chaser is not too tall, nor is your legs touching the floor the whole way round. Wahahaha! For our number 7 spot, Count Dracula will not be sucking your blood, but instead flying around on this two person plane. I think looking at this ride, it is quite self explanatory, but basically, once boarded, you will start to spin around in circles and gradually build up speed until you are racing around those corners. Despite it being a smaller ride than Elmo's Cloud Chaser, personally I find it with it being within a tinier circle feeling a lot more intense and for that reason Count's Fly is at the number 7 position. It is time for the most trashy ride at the park. No, not because it is bad, but because for number 6, we are going to blast off with Oscar the Grouch and his best friend Slimy on their monstrosity space mission with Oscar's Rotten Rusty Rocket. First, look how cool the ride vehicle is with the trash spaceship design really immersing you with this bin feel. This is nothing though compared to the ride itself with its occasional trips around the corners, it really makes this ride both fun and exciting for all guests, including myself. Top 5? What, what? Or should I say, hmm, hmm. As for this spot, we have Flying Cookie Jars. Based off my favourite Sesame Street character, the Cookie Monster, on every single trip, I love to head around into the sky in a cookie jar slash hot air balloon. Also, when you are reaching the tippy tops of the park, what's cool about this flying cookie jar is that you can spin them. And trust me, when you are 40 feet in the air and spinning quite fast, even for the biggest thrill seekers out there, it can be quite a scary experience, in addition to making you feel like a cookie afterwards. If you are scared of heights, skip to number 3 as at number 4 we are going to blast off with Blast Off, the park's family drop tower. Strap yourself into the UFO and get ready for an experience like no other as you rise up to the sky and the planet Elmo. Standing also at 40 feet, this attraction should be able to be ridden by the majority of guests or definitely one that you can build up to on your visit. With all of the Elmosing <laughs> theming as well as the Elmo planet at the top, it makes this ride equally as fun. 
to watch, then ride, and so it is at number four. Here we are at the top three rides at the park, and for our number three ride, as well as the top flat ride at the park, Honka Dinga Dermy will send you racing all over the place. Many argue, including myself, that this is the most intense ride at Sesame Place, as even though the next two spots are fun, it doesn't spin around in circles while connected to another arm, tilting and rotating at the same time. I know right, that does sound pretty intense and if you get the opportunity to race with Honka Dinga, take it as you will not regret it. Or yell at me saying, why the hell did you say go on a dizzy ride? In at number 2, we have our first roller coaster on the list, Vapor Trail and since its debut back in 1998, guests have always enjoyed dropping down the 56 feet drop followed by many twists and turns as well as the three helixes with one being the standout 630 degrees helix which is pretty awesome. Alongside all the Sesame Place theming located throughout the ride, over here on Theme Park Coasting, a trip to Sesame Place is definitely not complete without a ride on Vapor Trail. Coming in at number one, and our best ride at Sesame Place has to go to Oscar's Wacky Taxi Roller Coaster. Firstly, before we even get onto the ride itself, it is one of the best themed wooden roller coasters that I have ever seen, and I think just by looking at the clips, you can see why. Once boarded though, your experience just gets 10 times better, with this Gravity Group family coaster not being too tall, but full of some of the most fun airtime moments, bank turns, in addition to tunnel sections that I have ever experienced on a family roller coaster. Therefore, if you are heading to Sesame Place, no matter how old you are or scared of roller coasters you may be, Oscar's Wacky Taxi Roller Coaster should definitely be on your bucket list. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you will love. And at the bottom there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button. But with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasting and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.